What's up there fellow YouTubers? This is Chris from the Mars Anomalies channel. Uh, we I covered Phobos, which is there's only two moons of Mars. It's Phobos and Diamas. This one here is Diamas. Some people call it Diamos, but I call it Diamas. I think that's the correct way to say it. Um, I had this in my computer. I got several of these and I decided to look at this one just for the heck of it and see what I could find. I think I looked at it before and seen a couple little things. Nothing's really that super stood out, but there's a couple things in here. There's four areas of interest on this picture. Um, this is the smaller twin of uh, Phobos. Phobos is a hit, but they say it's a twin. I don't know how a twin can be one smaller than the other if it's a twin, but for whatever reason they call it, it doesn't really matter. Um, but this is the smaller of the two, and I think it's just wild, you know, and I, I, I said if there was something on Phobos, why not something on Diamas? Now, of course, I didn't think there would be, because, you know, again, the mind says, well, it's a piece of rock floating around, and that makes sense. But I got four places of interest. One's like right here, 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 and right around here. Now, they're kind of funky. You can kind of see these from just from here. I mean, look at this. Okay. There's something right here. Something more right there. I mean, watch this. And you don't even have to really do anything in this picture, and you can see it. See it right there? There's something in the background here, and there's something that looks like it's in the foreground. Whoops, my bad. Uh, right here. There's something actually in here, but it's kind of, uh, kind of messed around with. But right here is pretty wild too. So let's get started with it. I'm just gonna open this here. Okay. Right in this area now, you can see that a little bit. That's not. I'm not doing a thing to this picture. Here it is. I'm just circulating and circling it right here, right here, right here. Right here, these little spaceships. What are these things, guys? Um, watch this. I'm just gonna equalize it. Okay, now you start to see something here. I don't know if this is like a reflection from the ground, but there's something right there. There's no doubt. And there's something in the background there, and there's something that looks like there's something on the side of this. Watch this. Let me take some of the color out. I'm gonna zoom in. And just just so you guys see this up close. Okay. Like I said, not doing a thing to the picture. Here it is. Now, again, I believe there's something else right here, but it looks like it's kind of, the way it's shaped, it looks like it's either A, hovering above the ground, or B, it's on something, meaning it's on a stand or something. I don't know. But you can just faintly see something on the side of this, and there's something right here that's some other little vehicle of some sort, or is it a spaceship, a spacecraft? Uh, who knows? Um, Soviet Union sent all kinds of things up to different moons and everything else. How do we know it isn't one of their crafts? But nonetheless, it is here. So... Um, let me do this. Okay. All right. Now you can start to see things are just a little bit better. There's something on the side here. See it? There's something right in here. And it's in like this little open field. Or it's one actually big thing here. I can't really tell. Uh, they do make it rather difficult to see this. Um, and let's just go a little brightness here. We can pop it out a little bit. Now see what I mean? It's like... Now see there's something right here. You can actually see it looks like it's got like these weird rails. See it? down it goes kind of up across comes back down see it and it looks like it's come some it comes to a point of some sort so I don't know what that is but there's something right there okay um, like I said this is, you can see how it kind of goes like this right here see how it goes down now, I don't know if that's anything but something tells me that's some kind of craft or because I mean it's right on this moon guys I mean something's got to it's got to be something either something we sent up and it either landed I would think it would crash on the moon but <laughs> who knows it may be something we sent up or the Soviet Union sent up just to check this thing out but nonetheless it's there uh, but there's several things it's here and it's right next to each other so I find that kind of hard to believe so in other words let's say we did it meaning NASA JPL even the ESA or Soviet Union, somebody sent something up. Why would they send things up that are like multiple things right next to each other? I would think like one here, one over here, you know, to the right, one way down south of it. I mean, who knows? I mean, there's just, you see, there's something else in here too. I don't know what that is, but it's there nonetheless. Um, all right, let's do this. All right, let's go up to this spot right here. Now, these you can't see too well, but it actually looks like several things scattered about on this. I watch this. Keep an eye, like, right over in the... It's, like, right on the outer edge. You can start to see something right here. It looks like... I don't know if it's a building, craft, whatever it is. Okay. Get rid of some of the color. But you can see something here now. There's something right here in the background. There's something right here. And there's something that's circled or something over here. You can start to see something in... Now, see it? 
I don't know what that is. It might be just the ground. And keep in mind, I didn't invert anything. It's still the same way. It's still the same picture. Um, but see that right there? And there's something right here. And you can see, like, it's all, like, grayscale. Like, that. let me just kind of blur it up and then resharpen. Because, like I said, some people ask me why they I blur my pictures. But here's the difference. Watch the difference in picture. Because it's so grainy, watch this. Even if I bring it up to, like, 400, okay? By blurring it, see how, like, you really can't see really any definition. You just see, like, a bunch of pixelation. Well, if you do this, you kind of see it's still blurred. But at least it's it looks like one piece now as opposed to multiple pieces. But see, there's something here that's round, something here. Is it multiple buildings? I see something right here. I don't know. I mean, is it some kind of little space probes? I I couldn't tell you, but look at Real faintly, there's something right there. Something right there. And actually, you can actually see some kind of... I don't know if there's a structure or call it what you want, but it looks like there's some lines here. You know? I mean, you guys, again, you guys can check this out yourself. I will put the picture down on, as usual you know uh in the description i'll have the link as always um but look at see how like he's got these straight lines and like i said i invite anybody to see it this is the reason why i like to leave the links and really go through this sometimes i'll go over these things over and over again just so because sometimes if you go too fast you go okay this is this this is this and then you move on to the next picture people go um uh, i didn't get to see it or how you described it so they want to keep going back to it so sometimes i do a little redundancy but it's it's okay because i'm trying to get it across to where you can actually see this um and like I said, there's just something, I don't know, it just looks like there's some lines and shapes. And see it? If you look, I mean, they're faint there, but they're there. Yeah. It looks like there's a lot of blurring up in here, too. So, okay, see this? It's round, kind of square stuff, more round stuff. I don't, see, it's like, I don't know if you guys get that, but it's there, nonetheless. I thought that was pretty wild. Is it a small city on there? Is it some base or something? Um, your guess would be as good as mine. Okay, I believe this one's down further. Yes, it is. This one's actually pretty funky. Now, you can kind of see it here. I thought there was something here, too, and I believe there is, because look at Look at all the pixelation. Like, you can actually see what looks like digital lines in it. Okay? Um, okay? Now, see how it's like it's got this weird shape to it here. Okay? Like, it's kind of rounded here, and kind of like this right here, and it kind of goes, it looks like there's some other dome thing here. And whatever it is, is going all the way around. I'm going to just invert it. And you can still see what looks like like a small dome. Kind of rounded here. See it? I don't know what that is either, but... Nevertheless, it is there. See it? Kind of funky stuff here, man. I don't know. And like I said, I mean, is it just a trick of the picture? I mean, yeah, anything's possible. But when I start to see any kind of, like symmetrical or any kind of round lines or straight lines I kind of you know you kind of question it even though you might it might be in the film but when there's some kind of shape and of course you don't know what it is but uh, nevertheless it like like I said you can see what looks like a small dome now this might be just pixelations and it kind of throws it off but see how it's like kind of rounded here and then it comes out again it looks like some kind of other thing here but um, let's see it it's kind of I don't know Because you have to really, really, you know, contrast these things and try to bring them out because sometimes they're just so badly hidden. So you don't know if it's a bleed of the picture or if it's something. I mean, it looks, it looks like there's even something right here. Look at this. Well, it's even worse, but. Okay, we well, can see something right in this crater if you look. It looks like there's something right in the middle of it. Watch. See it? I mean, I can't tell what that is, but it looks like something's right there. It's like. This cylindrical object here right there? I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was kind of wild. I've seen that too. I was like, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, and this one here is kind of funky too. Um, okay. Right in this area here, this is there's not too much going on except for right in this here. It looks like some kind of weird something or other standing up, but it's got like this globe or some kind of weird round. See right here? It's just starting to come into the picture here. Now, keep in mind, there is a lot of blurring here. Even though this is pixelated, you can still see some blurring. I'm going to invert it. Now, see this here? What is that? It kind of looks... I don't know if it's square, and it's got some kind of round thing. And it goes in up above. And if you really... If you really lighten this up here a little bit, you can actually see... Let me see if I can do that. See if I can't pull it out a little bit more for you guys. 
there's actually when I did it earlier it's actually some kind of other round thing on the side of it or something it's whatever that is I mean it doesn't look like nature made or some kind of just bump on this rock I mean you know see it let me see if I can't throw a little blur in there sometimes like I said I like to use blur because even though it blurs it up but see how it just smooths out the lines a little bit and then what we'll do is just enhance it just a little bit so we'll give it throw it a little shopping but see it right there it's just this weird it almost looks like a cube but it's hard to tell um, but there's something around there and it goes over I couldn't tell you guys what it is but it's there um, see how it's like more pixelated here on this blur it okay and then just do a little bit of shopping it's not as bad I mean it is still blurry and I get that but it's still now look it up all up here all lined out see it so you know who knows what the stuff is it actually looks like you can see something in here too it's way down in here but you can see something right there see there's like this like this grayscale thing going on in the middle of this that may be where all this blur is coming from and there's something in here because you can see something sticking up right here something right here look at this let me see if I can't back it up just a little bit well it looks like there's something here it looks like it's something standing here I don't know what that is is it a building is it something I don't I don't know what that is but it's there I mean you can see this stuff well see it not see it but you can see shadows like silhouettes of it but anyway guys I thought that was pretty neat I figured to do a short video for you guys uh, like I said this is and this is DMOS I'm gonna back on out of here this is what I want to show you this is the link right here um, this is from the high-rise uh, you know from Arizona dot edu which is you know um, but anyway you can see it right here uh, this was uh, February 2009 you know uh, on the 21st of February and I just went right here and I've got the tiff right here the color first observation you can check out anything you just kind of mess with it see it says grayscale first observation but it gives you a little see it says uh, it took other images of Phobos so I thought it was pretty cool. I thought it was pretty interesting. I will leave the link down below for you guys as usual. Um, but anyway, just a short video just to give you a little something of uh, DMOS. I haven't done that moon yet, so I figured I'd throw that in. Um, as always, I always like your input. Let me know what you guys think of this stuff. I'm going to leave the link down below. As always, thanks for watching. It is appreciated. I can trust me on that. Um, I'm going to uh, let you guys go for now. Leave a comment on the bottom if you like what you're seeing. You know, hey, you know, give me a thumbs up. Um, you know, don't forget to subscribe, and um, that's pretty much it. Again, thanks for watching, and I will see you next pick.